In this video, we will add a collisions to your bullet. So let's get started. So first, what you need to do is go to the bullet scene and then let's click on this little button and let's add a signal to actually identify that this is a bullet. So it's bullet. Oh uh, yeah, it's bullet, okay? Now what you need to do is go to the enemy. Now we need to check from collisions. So we need to check collisions of different things. So what we're gonna add is right function process first and we'll create a function called handle collisions and we'll create another function called function handle collisions okay okay let's hit pass here first what you need to do is add a for loop that checks for every single collision so first for i in range get slide count get slide count is the amount of how many times the collision body has uh, slides. So how many times it checks for collision, that amount is in the get slide count function. I mean function, yes. So we need to do is store its collider into a variable. I will explain why in a sec. Var hit collider equals to get slide collision index of i dot collider. So make sure you guys comment down below what the favorite part of the, this game is. I don't know how to how to phrase this. I don't know. <laughs> so here, fitcall dot has signal. So has signal will check for is bullet. <laughs> so if it has, we know it's time to destroy. There should be a health function. We'll implement this later. But for now, let's write destroy. And destroy function, make sure it should take a, uh, a collider, of course. So, because we will destroy itself, also the bullet, bullet, okay? So, first, let's write a function destroy, okay? So, what it will take? It will take a hit collider info, because we need that. This is basically the bullet, okay? So, yeah. So hit collider info. First, we need to say query itself. So the bullet, so, uh, the enemy itself will be query. Next, we will say hit collider info dot query. Sorry. Oh god. Uh, copy paste and pass. And we'll we'll provide hit call over here. So let me, let's recap what we did. We created a function called a uh, process. We have the handle collisions into this function. And the handle collisions checks for every single time a uh, the kinematic body has slides. So how many times it collides with something, okay? It checks uh, for this value. This value will return how many times uh, the color collision body has collided then what we do is use the get slide collision in like which index you want okay so get slide count will return a number this would re this returns a this returns for some uh for some, this returns nothing it returns with the i so basically get slide count index i is that that position i mean that index if it has bullet in that index, if it has bullets. So we have uh, stored all of this value into the hit call for later usage right here. Uh, yes, right here. So if hit call that has signal, so if it has signal code is bullet, we know it's bullet time. Then we just say destroy. And where we need to, we need this. We need this. So you can say why we need this. We need this because we need to destroy the bullet as well. That's why. So there, there we go. And we save. Go back to the world and let's run. And I have this. It's a little snappy, but I cannot do anything. Let's go. Um, 